Snow is one of the most rapidly changing Earth surface phenomena that exists. 70 to 80 percent of our surface water in the western United States comes from snowmelt. And many different entities are reliant on our snowmelt to live in terms of agriculture, and maintaining the environment, and not to mention to drink and for municipal purposes. The San Juan Mountains are really a water tower for the surrounding terrain. The snowpack that accumulates in the San Juans feeds the rivers that drain these mountains and provides water supply for a lot of the Southwest. In the era of climate change, we are in a new normal. And the system is changing, and it's changing quickly. We need to understand the changes that are taking place, both in just the mountain systems in general, as well as the snowpack processes. Mountains are considered a bellwether of regional and local climate change. So the San Juan Mountains, particularly the town of Silverton, is rich in snow and avalanche research. This area was recognized by the University of Colorado Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research, as well as a pioneering snow and avalanche consultant, Ed LaChapelle, and in about 1971, they formed the San Juan Avalanche Project which was a five-year project where they did snow science and assessed avalanche conditions and studied avalanches in the whole Silverton area. And their conclusions were that this whole area is an ideal natural laboratory to do science and applied research as well as education. Our organization is the product of many years of hard work by many people. The Center for Snow and Avalanche Studies is a research entity, a nonprofit in Silverton, Colorado, and they support and enable mountain science and snow research. We monitor and collect data that pertain to our mountain systems, which includes everything snow, water, biology of the plants, even geology. The center runs a study catchment, a research basin near Red Mountain Pass. It's called Senator Beck Basin. It's heavily instrumented in a, a closed hydrologic catchment and is host to a number of different ongoing research projects. CSAS hosts many different kinds of professionals and students here in the basin, but by far we host snow scientists. This past February, CSAS hosted the Snow X campaign. The Snow X campaign was an effort by NASA and many different institutions. NASA wants to develop a snow sensing satellite that can sense and measure the snow water equivalent of our snow environments uh, across the globe. And in developing this technology, you have to know what's on the ground. And so we were the field component of this effort by being able to ground truth what the airborne instruments and the satellites were sensing from space. So I don't know of any other stations at this elevation in North America that collects the data that we collect. It's really crucial for understanding snow, snow accumulation, snow melt processes, and for modeling efforts. Another really neat thing that we do that's part of our mission statement is education. We teach snow science field courses to about four or five different universities in a given year. And we also offer a snow school for water professionals every year, which is simply a three day long school for folks who are in the water management business or associated with it somehow and just want to learn more about snow. Another good reason this basin is, is perfect is because our location in the southwest portion of Colorado, where we receive dust events out of the desert southwest. CSAS operates the Colorado Dust on Snow program. We monitor the dust on the snow here in this basin, as well as 10 other sites around the state of Colorado. Dust on snow has major impact on how the snow melts, the rate that it melts at, and the timing that it melts, and even affects overall yields. Is anybody who is interested in the timing and rate of our stream flows is interested in this information. Water management is challenging. There's only so much water to go around, and if we don't have a good handle, a good forecast on how much water is going to come out during the dry season, Allocating water to all of the users is a really difficult challenge. And it's even more complicated when things in your watershed change. Therefore, the ability to conduct science and really understand the dynamics of this mountain snowpack, the San Juan's mountain snowpack in particular, is critical to enabling a future of more precise water management, better instrumentation, and a better social understanding of what our water supply and water resources are and where they come from. 
So what is it about Colorado that we love? We love the lifestyle, we love the mountains, we love playing in the mountains of Colorado. And that can go away. We're in a changing environment and supporting mountain system research and state-of-the-art snowpack monitoring will help us navigate the future. So please become a friend of CSAS today.